power the unit on and ground the gun to the pistol cradle. Useful if your lab is not supplied with conductive chairs or you are testing out in the field. We start by pressing 5, then the start button. This performs a system self-check. During checks 1 and 2, you will hear the sound of electrostatic discharges occurring. Note that the pistol cradle can be mounted to the side of the high-voltage base station for easy mobility. Take it off if you're shipping the unit, though. Step 3. We pull the pistol from the cradle, put the tip of the self-check point on the high-voltage base station, and pull the trigger. All is kosher, and we move back to the home screen, accessed anytime by using the menu button to the left of the keypad. Pressing 1 to access voltage levels per IEC standards, and press the green start button to activate the high voltage. We'll run level 1 test at 2 kV and positive polarity, displaying the waveform for your review. IEC 61000-4-2 and most other standards for commercial electronics call for 10 discharges at each level and polarity at 1 Hz. We'll go back to the unit. Replace the pistol and press the red button to turn off the high voltage. Use the minus button to flip polarity and continue IEC testing. We'll cover advanced programming and functions of the ESSS 3011, but first a side-by-side -side comparison with a TESSEC NSG 438. Note a much longer duration of high current right after the peak. The NSG 438 used is about 10 years old and serves as an example of a deteriorated ESD simulator. Note a lower peak value at 2000 volts and slower rise time. Create and save custom operations in manual mode. Daisy chain up to 22 of those operations in sequence mode, found in the bottom section. You can assign each memory slot a sequence that has already been created in manual mode, or program a new operation here within the sequence section. We'll clear out this program and start fresh. Using the arrow keys, I'll move to the top area and set my new parameters. Just throw in some numbers here. And then once I have my first test sequence configured, I use the down arrow to enter the memory section at the bottom, using the plus key to add it to my first location. Moving back to the top, I can now go and input a new set of parameters for the second operation. This noise can generator has one of the nicest sweep functions I've seen on today's models. The defined voltage at the top serves as our starting point. The step voltage determines where the next voltage level will go after it passes through its first interval and count sequence. In this case, the sequence will function in positive polarity, discharge 10 times in one second intervals, move from 2 kV to 4 kV, then to 6, then to 8, and terminate per our defined end parameter. Up to 20 programs can be created and saved. Scroll through these programs by highlighting the block in the bottom right. Settings for the simulator can be found in utility. Auto stop is recommended in case you are distracted and forget to turn off the high voltage following a discharge operation. This area is for radiation level mode and discharge detection functionality. And there's a lot more here, so you'll need to go into the manual for more information, because I'm gassed. Click the thumbnails to see video data sheets of other 30kV ESD simulators.